All right, guys. Here we go. What I got going on today is I'm going to make some hawkhead cheese. Okay? And I've got everything here that we need. Um, I've already boiled the hawkhead, as you can see. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it apart. And there's all kinds of meat inside of this hawkhead. See that? That's just like a pork roast. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull all the meat off of there. Okay? All we're going to do is just break it apart. Alright? And what I'm trying not to do right now is get bones. I just want all of that good meat off of there. So we're just deboning it. Mm-hmm. Alright. This is kind of a long process, so I'm just going to try to tell y'all how to do it, how to go about doing it. I learned this from my mom. Okay. Yeah, we're just pulling all the meat. And you can see as I'm pulling it, I'm kind of like breaking it apart because it's already nice and tender where you're just pulling it apart. Okay. And I'm trying to get all that meat. I don't want to miss any. And on the sides, what you see I've done right here is I've done the green onions and the parsley. Okay? See how all of this just fall apart. It just fell apart. And this is the tongue right here. Okay? I got two in here looking at me. I'm just deboning, guys. I'm just pulling all the meat from the bone. Okay. Now this boil approximately seven hours. Some people do it five hours, but I want to make sure that everything is tender while I can work with it. You see how I'm just pulling all of that apart? Okay. And all I want to do is get that meat. Look at that. That's nothing but beautiful meat. I had a few people commenting about the swine and everything okay i understand you don't eat it to each his own this is something i grew on, up on this is something that i choose to eat so if i choose to eat it then it shouldn't be a problem right but some people take things a little bit too far it's a way to say hey i don't eat that i don't like that would i be rude you know I was always taught that. If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. But not in these days and times. People don't respect each other's feelings, but that's okay. I still love y'all. That's how I was raised. Okay, so I'm getting all of this fatty off of that. We're pulling all that apart. I'm trying to do it as fast as I can, guys. But I also want to do it correct. But that's what I'm searching. I'm searching all this good old meat. Okay? Because it's all in the cracks and crevices. And you've got to be able to find it all. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So I'm basically just tearing this apart. There we go. Look at that. Y'all see how that's just all coming apart? And I got it all right here in one corner. Because I'm making sure that I have just meat. And no bones. Okay. There goes the snout. <laughs> okay. There goes the snout. Okay. And I've mostly got everything out of there. Alright. Let's the gel part. And what I do, I have the uh the juice that I boiled it in for the seven hours, I still got it on the stove. What I got, I got it like congealing down. Okay, because the more it boils, the more jelly it's going to get. Okay, so now everything that I pulled off of it, y'all see, I'm going to put it back in this pan. Okay, I'm going to pull it back in this pan. All right. 
and then you know the tongue they say is the best part so this is the tongue you're supposed to peel the tongue right and just break it apart in there but i'm just going to show y'all the basics before we get offline and then i'm just going to add some of the the jelly part that we pulled off that's really seasoned okay and of course i gave him a good shave before he got in the pot you always got to give him a good shave okay so what i'm doing now can y'all see me and when i was boiling this guys what i did was i put some um i seasoned the water with a little pepper and a little salt so see how i'm mashing this all up this is nothing but meat okay and we just breaking that up in little pieces okay and this is just some of the skin that i'm breaking off and putting in there too breaking it all up guys and why i'm doing it like that is i'm making sure that i don't have any like small bones or anything so if you were to bite into that i don't want anybody to hurt their teeth so that's why i'm squeezing and double checking for bones and when you have your gloves on you can kind of feel you can feel it okay now this is my way everybody has different ways but this is my way you know we all were taught differently on how to make things and how to prepare things and i know this is like a mess to some people but hey this is a part of my heritage that i'm very proud of okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these gloves off and I'm going to show y'all what I got going on right here. I got some parsley, okay, that I've already chopped up. I got some green onions that I've already chopped up. Y'all see that? Let me give it another pair of gloves. Because I think cleanliness is the best thing when it comes to cooking. You have to make sure that your hands are clean and your food is clean. So this is some uh, parsley that I've already chopped up. Okay. This is some green onions that I've already chopped up. And what I'm going to do is I have these pans lined right here. Lined up with uh, plastic. So when it gels up, it's easy to come out of the pans. You see it? They're lined up. So what I'm going to do is put a little parsley in the bottom of each pan. This is fresh parsley. I'm going to put a little green onions in the bottom of each pan. Okay. Then I'm going to take some parsley and put it in here in the mixture. And a little green onions and put it in there. Okay. Then we got some onion powder that I'm going to season it with. The central unit is just blowing my stuff. I'm right over it. And I'm going to put a little red pepper. I like mine kind of spicy. Then I like a little garlic powder. Okay, you want to season that, okay? Then I want a little Tony. Sacherous. Got to have the Tony. Then I'm going to put a little sage. That's what I put in mine, okay? That's the way I do it. Okay, and we're going to get all of that mixed up again. Okay, we're getting all that mixed up. And I wish y'all could see what this is. And this is already cooked. because I got to grab stuff again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of my accent in there. Put a little bit more pepper. A little bit more 
bit more sage. Alright. Take that glove off. Get some more. And I have the liquid, guys, that's really gelling up in the pot. And I gotta show you. So I'm gonna show y'all what this is looking like. Look at that. Wish we had some good lighting in here. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Everything is good and mixed up. And then I'll show y'all what I'm gonna do when I pour it and make it gel up, okay? guys and this is the magic of technology this is what I have done this is the mixture that I have put in the pans and I've lined the pans with a uh, plastic wrap okay so it will stay a little better and then what I'm doing now is I'm taking the water that it was boiled in that's what makes your gel. That's what makes everything stay together. Okay? And then I'm putting it inside of the pans. The reason I'm using a plastic wrap is because the plastic wrap will make it easier for you to pull it up once it's ready. Okay? You're really supposed to wait till it cool off to do it. But I'm just going to do it and then I'm going to get it where it can cool off. Okay? So all I'm doing is taking, this is your gel. What you boil that uh, head in is what makes your gel. Alright? And that's where all your flavor is because I had boiled that head in minced garlic. And I also boiled it with pepper and salt so that water is already flavored and it has little pieces you see that of the head in there so this is going to be absolutely delicious okay and y'all remember that i put some parsley and some uh green onions on the bottom it is. I can add a little bit more to each one. That should be enough. Then a little one in here. Kind of casing it, okay? I need mean, this one has a lot of meat, so I'm gonna. Yeah, buddy. That's how you do it. And then guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little spoon and I'm just going to loosen the meat up a little bit. Because it's kind of packed in there, I'm just loosening it up. So it can be evenly through there. See, I like mine meaty. Y'all see how meaty this is? It has a big chunk of meat in there. I don't want that big chunk. You don't want big chunks. All right. And that's how you make your fog head cheese. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.